guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina, and I am a mom of five kids, a wife to one wonderful husband. I usually don't mention him, and sometimes I think about it afterwards and I'm like, that's a little weird. I'm not just a mom to five kids, but usually I'm talking about homeschooling stuff or stuff as it relates to kids. So today's video is super informal. I'm just hanging out on my couch. I asked you guys on stories the other day if you wanted to see all of the stuff that's been coming in the mail, either on stories or here on YouTube. And it was overwhelmingly YouTube as the winner. And so usually I share things a lot lately instead of doing hauls, I've been doing it just on stories as things come in and I get excited and it's just quick and easy. And so I just show you on stories, but it's been a super busy week and things were just piling up and I didn't really get a chance to share anything. And then I realized I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys. So full disclosure, I probably won't be editing this video. So I'll try not to say um a lot and I'll try not to ramble. We'll see how it goes. It's been a really great day. It's been a beautiful day. I told you guys on stories that I wasn't sure if I'd get around to making a YouTube video because I've been cutting back in this new season on how many videos I put out. So typically it will be one to two videos a week. Already week two of that plan, they're probably going to be like four. So if you missed Monday's video, that was all about fun games for learning. Yesterday's video was a plan with me video. Then there's today and then tomorrow there is going to be a day in the life video, which was probably the number one requested video when I asked you guys on stories a few weeks ago that you wanted to see in the month of September. So that's what's coming up. Let's jump into some of these things that have come in the mail in the last week. So first thing, two things are from nature school. So nature school sent me two different sets that I'm super excited about. I did share these when they came in the mail over on stories, but in case you didn't see them, these are wooden sensory bin tools. So little cups, little tweezers, this little top. There's a bunch of them. This little pot thing. I did do this with my kids already and they absolutely loved it. I've been wanting a kit like this for a while, but um, I just hadn't gotten around to getting one. And we're just using like whatever random stuff that we have. Um, or if I do a themed bin, I'll put together some things from the dollar store or something like that. But these are so beautiful. Thank you so much Nature School for sending these because these are super high quality. I'm really impressed. They come in this sweet little drawstring bag. So when you're not using them, you can just pop them back in there. So I have linked these in my Amazon shop. This is the sensory bin kit from them. The other thing that they sent me, um, and this is what the box looks like that they come in. We did play around with a little bit already and my kids really loved it. But to be honest, I think I would do it separate from the sensory bin because my kids were so into the sensory bin that they like didn't really pay attention to anything else. So I'm super excited to just pull these out at a different time and I know that they'll love them. So these are also beautiful and high quality. These are tracing boards. There is the capital letter side and then the lowercase. Then there is the numbers. And then I loved this because this reminded me a lot of the doodle, a lot like the doodles and pre-writing books, like the ones that I got from The Good and the Beautiful, and then another one that I grabbed at the dollar store. So this is really good for pre-writers. And then obviously they come with something to trace with, although you can use your finger. You can fill them up like with beans or rice or something like that, but they come with these cute little wooden, I guess they're like a stylus, but they're wooden. I don't know if that's what you'd call these, but really cool, really beautiful very well made high quality and these are from nature school these are also linked in my amazon under wooden toys i'll probably add them to like the top school section as well so those are really cool next thing i want to share with you i was trying to wait but i couldn't wait and i put them up on my fridge and they are by quick canary so these are the only things that i have in my hands to show you but these are reusable post-its. They are like a little whiteboard. They're flexible 
and they're reusable. I am so excited to use these. I'm probably gonna bring these to work with me for my desk. I'm a teacher in case you didn't know and I always have a million post-its all over and they don't actually stay stuck to my desk. So they're like always moving around and getting super annoying. So I'm so excited to use these and the fact that it's not wasting paper constantly, total win. So what I also got from them that I'm really excited about, so thank you Quick Canary for sending these to me. I'm already loving them, super excited about them. Um, I also got the chore chart. It's a whiteboard chore chart. It goes right on your fridge or wherever else you would have like a magnetic area that you could put something on. And I also got the menu. So something that I've been dying to do and get better at is menus and meal planning for the week. And going into a new season of transition and we need to figure out new routines and procedures and just methods for staying organized and making our lives easier throughout the week. I really wanted to find ways to do that and having a visible chore chart and having a weekly menu chart right on our fridge, I feel really excited like it might help us. So I will keep you posted on that, but I feel like it's definitely worth a try. Those are also linked in my Amazon shop under the home decor and housewares section. So definitely go check those out if you're looking for something similar. Next up, I have two things to share with you from the Daily Grace Co. Now, this was my very first order ever from the Daily Grace Co. I've been dying to get some things from the Daily Grace Co. and I just hadn't gotten around to it. And then they were having their $5 sale, you guys, and I got two really beautiful books that I'm excited about. Now, if you've been following along, when I remixed my playroom, I usually change up the theme. And right now we're doing farming and food. But right before that, we were doing feelings and social emotional learning. And someone, I forget who you are, so if you're watching, thank you so much. Someone recommended this book from the Daily Grace Co. And it's created with emotions. And what I absolutely love about this book is it actually ties together how God created us with those emotions. So I talked in a video where I shared like a books about social emotional learning haul. I did a whole haul of books like that. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to remember to link it down below. And I talked about the importance of your spiritual health and including God in that learning. And so it's good to learn about feelings and social emotional learning, but without God, those things can only go so far. And so I absolutely love that this book weaves together both of those things. So really excited about this one. This is from The Daily Grace Co. And I'm excited to let you know, I do have an affiliate link down below for The Daily Grace Co. So go check that out if you're interested. If you don't know about Daily Grace Co., it is not just for kids. It is actually more for women. And they have these beautiful devotionals and journals and prayer journals. And I grabbed the Fruit of the Spirit one and this was really important to me because I really want to make sure that I'm living out the Christian life, right? So like not just saying I'm a Christian, not just going through the motions, but like really living a life where there is fruit, his fruit in my life, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So I'm really excited about this to study it, but I know I say this all the time, guys. And so, you know, if you've been following, then you've heard me say this so many times, but I'm a visual, visual person. So if something is beautiful, it is just more likely that I'm going to pick it up. And I just love the images in this book. And it's just such beautiful quality. It's also kind of making me hungry right now, but there is places to read, places to write and journal. And if you're looking like for something to help you learn the Bible, to spend more time with God, I just love having a devotional. Not that it's necessary because nothing replaces the Bible itself. But if you're in a place where like you either need to mix it up or you don't know where to start, then something like this can be a huge help. They have so many guys. Like I could have honestly ordered like 20 different things, but I didn't because I'm also trying to be budget conscious. So. Um, created with emotions and the fruit of the spirit. 
both from the Daily Grace Co. Honestly, even if you're not looking to spend money, go check them out because they always have amazing sales. I actually just placed another order, so stay tuned for that. I grabbed a necklace, which is not in. My daughter broke my favorite necklace. If you guys have noticed, I always wear like the same necklace. It's like a, it's gold and it has like a little pendant. She broke it. I love her. I was snuggling her and she tugged it and it broke. And she's tugged it a middle, million times before and it didn't break, but this time it did. So I was eyeing their jewelry, jewelry for a while, but honestly, like, didn't want to spend the money. But then when that broke, it was kind of like my pots and pans. If you guys saw that on stories a few weeks ago, I like would not buy pots and pans, even though mine were like old and mismatched and like given to me by different people. And finally, I like burnt one of my pans so bad and I was just like, okay, it's time. So my necklace broke, I ordered a necklace and I also ordered one other thing. So when that comes in, I'll share it with you guys either on here or over on stories, because if that's the only thing I have to share, I'm not going to do a whole YouTube video about it, but really excited about these and the other stuff that I have coming. This I actually did share on stories, but they only last 24 hours. So in case you missed it, I also got a new planner, you guys. I am so excited about this. Let me take the shiny cover off so that you can see it a little bit better. It has the scripture, God is within her, she will not fall, Psalm 46.5. And I also got it personalized with my name on the bottom. It says Mrs. Franco. This is my teacher planner. So I had been using one planner for everything, homeschool stuff, teaching stuff, life stuff. It was a $7.99 planner from Aldi and I absolutely love it. And I still am going to use it, I think. But now that I'm teaching four different grades at work, plus a little bit of homeschooling, I needed a legit teacher planner. And so I ordered two different planners because it was not patient enough to wait for a customized planner to come. And I returned them both and ended up ordering this planner anyway. So um, it's really beautiful. I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing, um, but I'll just show you how I customized it. Let me go to, obviously has the month view so you have like a year view you have the month view and then this is how I chose to customize it guys so I did um fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade and then I left a blank in case there's overflow and then I did homeschool and then life and then there is also a checklist type area for like notes or lists and I really love that and then in the back, there is also like this checklist section for the teacher planners. You can customize them though and put different things in here, different sections. If you don't want certain sections, you can take them out and you can even adjust how many months. I think you can do like a 12 or an 18 month. You can choose which month to start at. So it's truly customizable. And then in the back, there are some stickers which who doesn't love stickers? I mean, it's not just kids that love stickers, right? Um, so there are teacher stickers. Then there is a pocket folder, a double-sided pocket folder. Then there is like a clear pouch to stick things in. And yeah, I'm really happy with the quality. It's nice thick paper. The cover itself is actually like pretty thick. It's like not rippable. But then it also has this plastic cover on the outside. So this, if I didn't mention this already, this is from Plum Paper. So this is a Plum Paper Planner. And I saw Christy from One Blessed Mess using it. And I was like, you know what? I really want to get one of those planners. So this is the nicest planner I've ever had. Thank you, Christy, for that recommendation. Last couple things I'm going to show you are... Two of my favorite, absolute favorite subscription boxes. I'm not gonna do an unboxing here, but I will kind of share a little bit over on Instagram. Land of Storybooks, you guys know how much I love them. Brand new package. So this is their new, new box design. It is like styled a little bit more for older kids. It still is geared towards ages six through 12, but I can tell you we started this today. It's the Green Ember for September. I've been wanting that book. My kids were so into it, they didn't want to stop reading. 
They even jumped into the crafts today. And I can tell you my 13 year old who will be 14 in November still loved it. Like he was the one who was most enthusiastic about starting the stained glass craft. Like I was so pleasantly surprised that he was like super into it. So when they're done, I'll share, like they had to let it dry and then do another step. So when they're done, I'll show you guys over on Instagram, but super excited about this box. If you're not familiar with it, I do have a couple unboxing videos that maybe I'll remember to link below in the description box, but I do have a link down below for the Land of Storybooks. Guys, if you want to start read alouds with your kids, or if you already do read alouds, but like you don't want to have to pick a book, or if you do read alouds, but you don't do like crafts and recipes and discussion guides and things like that along with it, and you want to, this is where it's at. Like, I'm not kidding, guys. I'm not just saying that. This is so good. Like, I was gushing about it to my husband about how much we love this box. So, anyways, that's the land of storybooks. Last two, which I also honestly love just as much as the land of storybooks, are my knowledge crates. And, like, you guys know I share about these all the time. This is the brand new mini crate. So, let me show you, like, the difference in size. So, here's the regular knowledge crate. Here's the mini crate. The regular, regular Knowledge Crate is a seasonal subscription box. So I've done unboxings for that for both the Summer Crate and the Fall Crate. The Summer Crate, I got the preschool one and I wanted to try the school age one. So for the fall one, I had them send me the school age box. They also were kind enough to send me the preschool box for fall. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't gotten a good look at it yet, when I open it up, I'm gonna share with you guys over on stories, kind of maybe the differences between the fall preschool box and the fall school age box, because it might be helpful for some of you who don't know which one to get to see like some of the things are the same and then some of the things are different. So if you're like trying to decide which one to get, that might be helpful. So be on the lookout for that. The mini crates though, are not a subscription. They are just like a one-time purchase and they're themed. So they're not seasonal themes. They're like different themes, like dinosaurs, space. This one is the safari one. Super excited about this. Cannot wait to try it. It's like, I'm just going to show you because like, I just love how cute their packaging is. Like, look at that. Love it. I just love the attention to detail. I'm like such a detail person. So, um, I'll share these more over on Instagram, but that's another thing that I wanted to share was the mini box and the regular box. I do have a link to Knowledge Crates down below, and I also have a code down below for you to get 15% off your subscription. So if you're looking to try out Knowledge Crate, you might want to try the mini box. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for that. So it's a way to try it out, but I don't have a discount code. But if you wanna just dive in and try the subscription for the seasonal crates, I do have a discount code for that. That was kind of weird. Anyways, there was like people walking by, like possibly looking in my window, that was weird. It was women and they're older, so like they don't seem threatening, but you know, I guess you never know. Anyways, that is everything in this haul. I do want to mention, oh, actually, no, it's not. So I was going to wait to put these pillow covers on because I wanted to show them in the haul because they were one of the things that were supposed to be part of this haul, but I got too excited and put them all on. Um, but these are from Amazon. They just came in the mail today like, I don't know, a couple hours ago, I got too excited and like needed some fall pillows in here. I had the same ones for spring and summer. They were looking kind of raggedy. I have washed them, all of the things. Um, but throw pillows really don't wash well. They're super annoying. They mess the washer up. It's a whole thing. They don't like drain properly. So I think I'm going to go to buying pillow covers. Let me know down below. Do you do brand new throw pillows? Like you throw them out, and you get new ones or do you do pillow covers? I can kind of see the benefits of both. These are pillow covers and they're a set of six. Pretty cheap. I've seen throw pillows that are like the same price than these for six or like more. So I'll just show you really quickly the set. They're super cute. 
love them they have like a fall vibe to them but not like overly like cheesy fall i feel like it can get a little bit cheesy and i didn't want like a cheesy vibe so anyways those i have linked um in my amazon shop under housewares and home decor last thing that i want to mention because i never remember anytime i wear this shirt you guys ask me like where is it from either either here or over on instagram and i remembered to link it down below for you guys it's by crazy cool threads they have so many cute shirts they usually have like a shirt of a month that's at a like way discounted price but they're super good quality i've worn this so many times it's really comfortable and I just love the style. So I like Christian shirts, but some of them can be a little bit cheesy. I'm not gonna lie, sorry. That's kind of mean, but honestly, I love this one. I get compliments on it every time I wear it. So I just wanted to put it out there that I have the link down below if you are interested, but there's also other really cool designs too. Another thing that I could buy, like all of them, if I wasn't trying to be responsible with my money. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. Hopefully it won't be painful to watch without any editing. It's about 22 minutes long at this point. So yeah, probably not going to get around to doing a ton of editing on it, but we'll see how it goes. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I hope there's something in this video that you liked and maybe doesn't inspire you to spend money that you don't need to spend. But if there are things that you need or you just have a special stash put aside for spending and you want something new or fun or devotional or a subscription box for your kids or if you need to switch up the decor in your living room or if you need a new shirt because you've been doing nothing but buying your kids things what else if you need organizational things like the quick canary sensory bin if you need a planner so yeah hopefully you found something in here that you are interested in if you did let me don't let me know down below if there's something you liked, something you have or tried. What else? If you're new here, introduce yourself down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you guys enjoy so I know what kind of content to bring you in the future. And they do help my little channel here on YouTube. So I super appreciate all of the likes, the comments, all of those things. I love you guys. I am praying you have a wonderful day. This is random, but we'll throw it in there anyway. Today's Sunday. I was super blessed by the message at church. I will hopefully remember to link it down below. If you struggle with prayer at all, watch this video. It's called When You're Struggling to Pray or something along those lines. I'll link it down below. It's Pastor Craig Groeschel from Life Church. Maybe this is for one person that needs to hear it. Maybe you think you don't know how to pray or your prayers don't get answered or God answers other people's prayers, but not yours or any anything like that. Go check it out. I was super encouraged by it. I think that's pretty much it. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Oh, if you're not already following us over on Instagram, you can follow us there at rooted underscore home life. I hope to see you soon, either over here or over there. Until next time, stay rooted.